Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Brother Wolf. (laughs) Today, we'll be telling the story of the Ugly Duckling. So get comfortable, snuggle down in bed, and get ready for this old but favorite bedtime story, The Ugly Duckling, by Hans Christian Andersen. Long ago, a duck had five beautiful children. But the last child, the egg was large, and she didn't quite trust it. She thought perhaps it was a turkey egg. But when it hatched, out popped not a golden, feathered, beautiful darling like her other children, but a white and gray monstrosity. What sort of duck are you? said the mother duck. Her child just looked at her. She took her little ducklings off to the pond and dropped them in and All of them swam, even the ugly one. Then she took them around the barnyard, because that was an important journey, making sure none of the cats made a mistake. The donkey was the first to say it. Yee-haw! Whoa! Your children are very beautiful, except for that big one over there. Why, he is an ugly fellow. And the pig, too. Ugly! Chickens? Chick, 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 chick. Ugly, ugly, ugly. And even the old rooster. So it was that his brothers and sisters of the Ugly Duckling, they began to call him Ugly. And even his mother would say, Hey, Ugly, get over here. He didn't like all the name calling. and Everyone was so rude to him and disrespectful. He decided as summer turned to fall to head off and make it on his own. Somewhere where people weren't calling him such names. He made his way through field and forest until at last he came to a small house. Inside the house was a chicken hen and a cat. He asked them if he could stay there, and the cat said, Can you purr? No, said the duckling. Then you best not stay here, for only those that purr are welcome here. That's not true, that's not true, said the chicken. Those who lay eggs are welcome here too. I lay eggs, do you lay eggs? No, said the duckling, I I don't lay eggs. Maybe with time, maybe, maybe, said the chicken. Well, the old lady liked the look of the duckling that perhaps he would lay an egg, but over time he laid no eggs. And as fall turned to winter, she began to sharpen her carving knives, and the ugly duckling decided to make his escape. He made his way out into the swamp, and there he met some geese, and they lived fine for a while until the hunters came, and luckily the duckling was small enough to be overlooked. But still, as He was wintering over there in the swamp and the frozen water and the snow. He heard the most beautiful calls, and he looked up in the sky and saw five beautiful, long-necked white birds with giant wings, and, oh, their calls were so beautiful. If only, he thought, if only I could be like them. As the snow flew more and more each day and winter grew thicker, the duckling tried to find some place warmer to stay. Well, one night, falling from exhaustion and lying across a road, a farmer found him and picked him up and brought him home and warmed him up. In the morning, the duckling was feeling much better, and the farmer, looking at him, said to his wife, Do you think this little duck would make a good supper? And the wife said, Yes, indeed, and she began to sharpen her knives as well. Well, when the duckling saw that, he was out the door and gone before the farmer could say lickety-splat. Where's that duck at? He spent most of the rest of the winter on a small lake, just trying to stay out of trouble. He had so much bad luck during that winter, and so many terrible things happened. I won't tell you them all. In the spring, his heart was so down, even though the sky was blue and the sun was shining, and all the snow had melted. And there was plenty of food for all. He just was so down. He just knew that his life would be like this forever, no matter what he did. He saw there in the lake were those birds, the beautiful ones with the long necks and the wide wings, and the ugly duckling, seeing them, thought to himself, Who else could I have to kill me and finish this misery that is my life? And so the ugly duckling swam up to them to ask them to kill him. When he looked down into the water and he saw in his reflection, he was not a duck at all. He had a long white neck and big white wings. Swans, they looked at him and they said, Oh, 
where have you come from? Why, you are so beautiful. And they became fine friends and had many adventures. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that story by Hans Christian Anderson. If you did, perhaps consider hitting the subscribe button up above to get future stories that are uploaded or down below the the like button on the YouTube channel. That would be great. Perhaps consider sharing this link with a kid you know who might enjoy a bedtime story. There are numerous stories on the YouTube channel, and go and check them out. Also, of course, on our website, right there, www.ericwolf.org. Well, ladies, fried, grilled, boiled, come back. I'm talking to you. Ladies, come come on. Ladies, hey, no need to be so unfriendly. Come on.